am in Houston, Texas still helping out with Coral Sword and um, Hunter has left to head to San Francisco for the fan fest and now he's literally on his way, literally right now, on his way to Arizona for spring training, which means the off season is officially over. You guys, it's over. And what an off season it has been. And I wanted to share with you guys some of our favorite moments because I feel like this off season, we did a lot. And I think it's stuff that like we really needed to do within, you know, our life and our relationship and just for our own personal, our own personal journeys, which is amazing that we got the opportunity to be able to do everything that we did. So let's start with my fifth favorite moment, which was going to Greece. This was a really special moment for me because I got to bring Hunter back to where my family is from. And I got to show him a lot of the history. I got to show him a lot of beautiful places. And I just got to share some special cultural, traditional Greek moments with him. And, and it was just a cool thing that he got to see and I got to share with him. And so that for me was really special. And that's a trip I'll never forget. The stunning views, the amazing moments, all our inside jokes from traveling together. That was absolutely amazing. My fourth favorite moment is traveling to Fiji and New Zealand, which was also our honeymoon. We finally got to take our honeymoon. So that was absolutely amazing. Um, and Fiji was so great because we met George Clooney. <laughs> yes, the views and everything was so beautiful, but we got to meet George Clooney and that was absolutely amazing. I wish I had a picture or something to prove it, but I don't. But we did meet George Clooney. I just, you know, we didn't want to bother him in his privacy. And so he actually knew who Hunter was and he fangirled over Hunter. And I was like, what? Is George Clooney fangirling over my husband right now? What? This it turns out George Clooney is a huge baseball fan. My next moment is New Zealand. Hunter and I just had the best time in New Zealand. Oh my gosh. It like, Hunter says it was life changing for him and I, I can totally see why like being in that nature, it just, it really just, it changes your mindset, it changes your perspective. It just changes so much about you. That's why getting in nature is so important. You know, unplugging for a little bit, getting to travel, learn about New Zealand, learn about the All Black. And the All Blacks are the New Zealand's rugby team and they've won like the most world championships ever, like in any sport. You know, experiencing their food and their culture, it was just so amazing and just being there. And you know, I think it's one of those places that we'd consider moving to, um, you know, far along, down, 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 down the road. New Zealand was absolutely amazing, breathtaking, getting to Hobbiton, um, seeing all the beautiful scenery and going to this place called Minaret Lodge that changed our life. And we just absolutely adored New Zealand. And I hope we get to go back one day. Our third favorite moment from this off season was probably getting to spend time with family. We got to go see our nieces and nephews, our nibblings uh, down south, and we got to spend some time with them, which was really amazing. I love getting to spend time with them. They're so fun. They're at a really fun age right now where we get to play video games and board games and do stuff outside with them, and they're at just like a really fun age. Also, my family came to Texas, and that was really fun. They came for the holidays, and you know, my sister especially came in and she helped us Christmify, Christmify? She helped Christmify our apartment and she just made it really, really special. She made it a great Christmas and a great New Year's. And of course, seeing my parents is always a highlight for me. I just love them because we don't get to see them enough during the season. So when we get to see them and spend long periods of time with them um, in the off season, it's always a good time, so. Um, my second favorite moment is adopting my two elephants. That has been something that I've been thinking about for a really long time. And then one morning I woke up and I was like, I'm just doing it and I'm adopting these two elephants. And now we have these two beautiful elements, Ambo and Kesha, and I just love them. I've never met them and I get updates from them weekly. And I just love them so much as if they were my own real elephants hanging out with me every day. And I think about them at least once a day. And I hope I get to adopt more because I just love being able to help out with something like that. Yeah, my elephants mean a lot to me. And of course, my number one moment of this off season, which took a long time to do, and it's finally open, is Coral Sword. Coral Sword is one of my favorite moments from this off season because it was something that Hunter and I have had a passion for. It takes everything that we love and it puts it in one place. We work so hard on it. Our team, like, we have the best team behind it. 
you know, David and Eki and Ming and Sandy. We have people that truly love this place as much as we do. And I, like, it's just been awesome to be able to go through this process with them and going, helping them from start to finish and seeing it finally open. Getting it open and now seeing people enjoy it as much as we do it has been an amazing moment and seeing it all come to fruition because it's something that we had talked about for so long you know you just never know if it's all gonna come the way you like perfectly planned it in your head and it did and it's amazing and I love it and Hunter loves it and we all love it and it's just this truly amazing place that we just love and that was probably my biggest moment from this off season that I have just absolutely loved the whole process of there were some moments course that were really stressful and you're like what are we doing like what the heck you know can we still do this is it like are we putting you know because you don't you're we're in a partnership so we don't want to like leave our partners high and dry and it's like can we give them you know Hunter and I don't like to be involved in something unless we're doing we're giving 110 percent that's definitely one of my biggest things is making sure that I can give quality like I don't want to spread myself too thin so I want to make sure I give them quality input and help and everything like that and I think we did it so there's moments where I doubted myself and I doubted Hunter but we like I said we have such an awesome team that when we couldn't do it they stepped up when they can't do it we stepped up and it was just such a great partnership and Coral Sword is truly amazing and I hope everyone gets to go that's it those are my top five moments from the off season you guys I'm just so excited because we did have an amazing off season. It's gotten me and Hunter fired up for the season. And now we are ready to go to the season. So I head there next week. I'm gonna say goodbye to Coral Sword and all my friends here in Houston. But now it's time to take over the season. And let's do it, guys. Let's get fired up. Let's do it. If you guys like go ahead and hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comments below what your favorite moment of my off season was and what your favorite moment of your off season was. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please be sure to do so. Because